I can't believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. All his talk of being an honorable military man, but Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. It had been building up. Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had, and worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Please, talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the watch won't see him. The city watch is everywhere out there. But I don't even care if they find me anymore. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you to Emily. 
One last trip, I expect. I had one job. Take care of Emily. I tried as best I could. Go after Emily. I'll be fine. I really can't believe they did this, but if they were willing to kill to get what they wanted, I guess they'd be willing to do anything. Havelock is a power-hungry bastard. I can't stand the thought of her in his dirty hands. He knew you wouldn't let him use her. I guess the Admiral had a change of heart. And maybe Martin helped him along. Pendleton just went with them. That coward. to converse with someone on my own level. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask you. I feel like yes. I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. But it's forced me to work with another agent derived from... The river crusts, yes, I'd guessed as much. But I think our approaches may reinforce each other. This is what we've been lacking thus far. was too good to be true. Seems that the conspiracy tried to use old Piero for their own gain and then discard him. But they have erred and delivered to me an ally almost as brilliant as myself. Old Sokolov and I will hold up here until we can blast the ruffians outside and make for the academy. to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. He turned the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. 
You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Ark Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. I'll make what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. The Ark Pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion? As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When this Ark Pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us. Everything is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in the whale oil tanks to power it. Will you do the honors? We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that. Goodbye, Corvo. I wish to apologize for what was done to you. It seems that holding all the pieces and standing a step from the throne changed something in the others. Something I don't understand. Don't underestimate Havelock, Corvo. He'll be waiting. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned, I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. As to the good Admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high-minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton, though I suspect he was just lazy. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. Once you start ordering people killed,
killed to get your way. Everything else is mere detail. I return to my work now, and you to yours. Killing people, I mean. I sincerely hope it goes well. This Piero of yours, a strange mind. But then my own is strange as well. If there is a cure to the plague, I believe we will find it. The old Empress would have liked that. She was a strange one. Stranger, I think, than you ever knew. But such things are past. And this new Empress, she's a strange one too. I wish you peace, Corvo, along with all the delights you can wring from the world. Now that you've eliminated the City Watch, I can find my way out of here. But there's no way I can help Emily the way you can. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you where you need to go. One last trip, I expect. Not liking the look of this one bit. 
That party died down inside awful fast. And now they called all the staff together. They said one more package for me to deliver. But I think I'll be keeping station at a safe distance from the riverbank and keep an eye on things for a while. Attention Dunwall citizens, Hiram Burroughs, formerly the Lord Regent, has confessed to heinous crimes against the people of Dunwall. He shall be confined to the Coldridge Prison until the proper authorities decide his sentence. <laughs>